All right, guys, Automotive Garage here today, and uh, we got a diagnosis thing going on here. We have a 99 F350 with the V10, Triton V10 in it. And uh, I'll show you what we have going on. Customers complain of not having any power, and it's random. He seems to think it's a fuel issue. I'm not quite so far leaning on that yet. So I'll show you what, you, what it's done. So the truck's idling fine. If you throttle it easy, it throttles up just fine. But if you get on it, what happens it almost dies once again you can feather it and that's what we got all right guys so at this point we have checked our vacuum lines uh we checked our air filter we checked our mass flow we checked our fuel pressure we had 45 pounds it's not dropping. So I went and checked fuel pressure again under a load this time. And I'll show you what we got. So this is cranked up, idling. So it's down way, down to eight pounds, dropping more. throttle it goes on up this is just driving easy About 30 pounds this is accelerating starting to cut out so we're headed over to my buddy's shop because this is obviously a bucket truck and I won't fit my little baby shop that I need to upgrade myself to a big shop. So uh, it's a whole other story. But anyways, we're gonna get this in there. We're gonna drop this tank because what I'm afraid of, this does have the metal tank. I do not know if it's the 37 or the 40 gallon. I can't tell by looking at it. But uh, my O'Reilly's guy has ordered both of the pumps for either tank. Um, so we're gonna drop this tank and I'm expecting to find trash in it or find the coating. Uh, stuck all over the sock on the pickup So uh, we're gonna see what we find and go from there I, I can't think of anything else that could be at this point with the fuel pressure dropping. It's got a clean filter on it It's got a brand new clean filter on it. So we're gonna drop the tank look at that and go from there So we'll see Hey Drew, what are you doing? Dropping this rusty old fuel tank. When I say rusty, I'm talking about like Joe Dirt rusty. That thing is heavy. Um, what kind of predicament are we in, Drew? A rusty one at that. Yeah, more rust. Um, So if you ever think about buying a truck from up north, this ought to discourage you from doing it. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy one from up north. <laughs> all right guys i'd like y'all to meet rusty the fuel tank This is not factory. You can't tell, but right there, there's RTV all in it.
right. Hey, Drew, what'd we find? Whatever Goober did all this right here, let a whole bunch of it squish down in the tank. Let's see if you can get a shot of that thing. Not my light man, man. So I'm assuming that uh, when we're losing fuel pressure, all that's getting sucked up against the sock. So now, the pump may not be bad, but it's kind of like you're at you this got point, it out. Why Might would you replace it? I agree. Sack attack. Yep. Come look at what we found. Dead animal in the gas tank? No. It's a, it's a like a T County Bubba job. Somebody did on this before. Yeah. It'd be nice if the damn plug would have just come out. Ah, oh, it's got to get plugged, oh, right? I, I tried. It's welded in there with rust. I think you're in that. I have rhythm. Dude. That looked pretty cool. It looked pretty cool. <laughs> Big chunk of orange right there. It's coming out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want you to take your shirt off here. All right, we're back. Next day, we got the correct pump. O'Reilly's the pump they asked him to order for me was wrong because this is actually a 98, not a 99. If you look at the build date on it closely, it falls into the, it was a 98 still category. Um, we got our tank all cleaned out here. Let me show you. Tank's all clean. And then also clean this surface right here. Since we're gonna reuse this tank and the other numb nuts that worked on this before, I ground these bolts down smooth. They had cut them off. Got a new ring for this to seal on also. So we're gonna put a thin coat of RTV here, screw it back down and we have the O-ring. That's how we're gonna roll with this because uh, this tank is an obsolete part now through Ford. The cheapest aftermarket when I saw that was plastic is $450. He didn't want to spend $450 on this truck um, for the tank. So that's how we're rolling with that. He's going in with the pump. Going in. Did you hear that? You did? Mm hmm. You know what that means? What? It's broke something? It's locked in. Mm. We're cocked and locked. Yeah, I see. It's going to go just like that. So we did use RTV like Gomer or whoever the hell did it before, but uh, we just used a small bead. We're not gonna goop it all up and have it falling down in the tank. Cause we do have a brand new O-ring here. We cleaned our surface up. Uh, it should have a good mating surface. So that's how we're gonna do it.
Here's another example of a northern truck. Fuel lines rusted completely in half. Or that's a that's a vent gas tank vent. Gas tank vent line that is. Here's another piece. Just touching it, falling apart. What you doing, Drew? Well, this is Chinese quality plug here because it starts to fit in the factory one, but you can't butt it all the way up. And then when you force it, you get to crack the plastic right here, forcing it. So we're taking the good quality factory Ford plug here, this Ford made in 1999, and putting it on this Chinese garbage that you get for a pump mill. So once again, we're just wasting some time doing something that we shouldn't really have to do. Does it look like quality, Gary? Top quality. It's about as neat as, neat as you can make fixing something that you shouldn't have had to fix to begin with. Unless you want to sit here and solder all of it. All right, we got our tank back in. I mean, man, this truck is rusty. It is just, I got crap all over me. It just falls off when you touch it. Uh, I'll clamp back up, ran a new vent line because the hard line to a point was just crumbling and falling apart. So we ran a new rubber line for that evaporative gas system. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna fill it up with gas now and see if we got our problem fixed. Man, my face is dirty. So we're driving the, the V10 old rusty bucket truck and our problem is fixed. Let me show you all the fuel pressure. So that's sitting here in drive at idle. And this is, this is accelerating hard. day that's right all right guys so we got the v10 fixed on the old rust bucket bucket truck rusty bucket what do we call it rust bucket rusty bucket rusty bucket so uh we had a fuel pressure issue we tested fuel pressure under a low y'all saw that before so that's how we discovered our fuel problem and then y'all saw what the problem was in the tank with some jack leg putting all kind of rtv all over everything and messing that up so we got it all fixed it's all straightened out truck drives good uh, you can tell an increase in power with it driving, so that's a lot better. So it's Automatic Garage signing out. Y'all like, subscribe, comment. Check us out at Facebook, AutomaticGarage.com, on Instagram, and we're on Rumble also. Uh, we got some more videos coming, so y'all keep along. Keep following us. We'll see y'all.